Hello everyone, this is Tan Tan here and today I'll be reviewing the unique toy Optimus Prime from Transformer The Last Night. This version of Prime came in a different truck than the Pris 3 version and it can be installed the shield sword and the shield up right in the back of the truck. There's a hole here to hold it. Just put it in like so. And there's also a pack. There's a lot of flames detail on the truck. Really movie accurate. The back of the truck, the size, the blue color here is so like a metallic blue. It matches all the flames detail and in the bottom there's some robot parts. The front section of the car, here we have the other mechanical details on the gray mode in gray plastic. Here yeah, is the door, made it in a dark clear plastic. The ties are made from rubber like all the masterpiece figure. It adds a really nice, a good class to the figure. Doesn't make it look cheap. This front section has a chrome coating but then it only have it in all the centers. On both sides it's just like grey plastic. The doors can be open from both sides, but the interior design is really, it's not, just not that good, you know, just simple, plain. And here's the size comparison with the Voyager of the Last Night Optimus Prime, as you can see, different blue color, different red. The other flame details is not as good as the Unique Toy version. The back of the car is also different. Some more size comparison. And the front. This section it has the Autobot logos. But since this is a third party, the unique toy doesn't have the Autobot symbol. On the top of the car, you can see there's a curve. It makes the pal plastic look like a uh, divide into three pieces but the Voyager glasses is like it's one line. The headlights is also different, different design. <clears throat> and here is the comparison with the movie masterpiece Optimus Prime from the Transformer 1. As you can see two different car. The um, movie master masterpiece is slightly longer but shorter in, shorter in height. Now to begin transformation, first let's do it. We we flip up this section here, the whole section, like so. Then we push it down, up it there. Then we come here, we open this up, like so on both sides. This will be the leg of the robot. Open that out. Turn it over, and that is the feet. There we go. The feet. Turn it like that. Fold it down. Rotate this, and then we turn and fold. Lock that into place. The front of the car will become in the down part of the feet. With this, we. Lock it into place. And then we fold this section, the whole small section together. There's a tab and there's a slot over there. Push them in like so. Fold that down. There's a slot and tab. Tap that into place. There we go. We split this in half. As you can see, there's a thighs over there. There's a tab. Open that up, hold that in, that hides the tires away from the robot mode. And then it's the leg, the left leg. The second one, same to the first one. Like that. Close it down, close that in. 
push it down like so. That's the two feet. Now to the upper body. This hold this. This this this, this, this is spring loaded. So be careful when transforming it. And spread. Rotate the leg down. So that is the lower body section. There we go. Clip that into place. Skip a second. Stand this guy up. Now for the front of the car. First we flip open this to become the armor on the neck. Oh, there we go. And then we try to split the uh, windshield into two pieces. Open that up, that's the head. This will be the arms of the figure. Now we come back to the front. First we push this whole section, fold that in neatly, nice and tidy. And push that, lock that into place. That will be the back of the figure. Now for the chest. Oh, open that up. And then you just simply lock that into place and try to push it. In like so, that's the position of the arms. That's this part over here. Second one, do the same with the first one. Pull that in nice and tidy. And then, it's a tap. Lock it into place like so. Second one, push that up. Oh, sorry, push that up. Lock it into place. Rotate it like that. Close this whole panel, and there's a just slot it in like that. Give me a second. There we go. Slot that in. The two apps. There's a pack and a slot. Lock them up. Be careful. Lock the second one. Now to the arms figure. The soldier armor. Just push them here like so. Second one. This armor here. Rotate the arms. Second one. And then we just flip out the hands. Split it. Rotate it. And there's a tab, a slot. Just lock it in place like so. To create the armor for the arms. We nearly finish. Yes, set one, open it, turn it, and push it back, lock it, and push the arm back, and there we go. Now here's the Optimus Prime Unique Toys in his robot mode. Really nice night in a vibe robot mode. I really dig this design since Transformer 4. Age of Extinction, yeah it is. So for the head. You can see here they are laid some layers of armor on the neck, creates a really realistic vibes. There we go, as you can see right there. The uh, neck articulation can look from the left to the right, like so. Here's some more details of it. The uh, neck armor looks in it's kind of tall, so it makes the figure have a really strong sense of feeling to it. There's some mechanical details on here with gold painting as well. It's 
for the arms. You can do a rotate 360. And the uh, armor does get in the way of articulation due to the way it's molded. So we can move it up a little bit for a little bit more range of articulation. There's a swivel here. There is the crossing arms pose. It's an open up for more articulation. There's the, uh, the hands move up and down on the swivel. The fingers are active double jointed 311 kind of fingers double hinge each this uh, skirt part can move up and down this is spring loaded up and down like so there's a wire here that's going to mimic what he looks like in the movie this two pieces spring loaded so be careful with those spread of the leg not too good because of the way the, the figures transform so the armor does get in the way the hip joint can barely squibble here's all the kick up to the front nice kick decent kick so the spread as you see it's not too good due to the armor the back section of the leg is quite thick so it is all the best it can do is a 90 degree band, not too good on it. This is actually all the armor pieces, it's like the inner side of the car mode. So like they are all fixed details, but uh, they, it folds in quite nice and neat. So I quite like this feature of the figures. That is the front of the car, can you open it and see, you can see the wheel. Like so, the toe. This whole back section of the car this whole back section of Optimus is not shown in the car mode. This is all like hidden details in the hidden parts. This is a sword and the shield of the figure. Why it's nice inside. It can be attached like so. It can be it can be stored on Optimus back with the fold there. Lock it in. The shield can split open to re reveal the cannon. Close it in. And there's a peg and holes in Optimus arms. Lock it in. And he's holding his shoe like so. Split open, and you get the gun. Close it. Wait for the sword. There are tabs on the sword, and the slots, the tabs here, like so. And a lot of nice details. You get all the Cybertronian symbols or logo on it. Really nice detail sword. Very movie accurate. And there's open this finger, slot it in right there, like so. And you got Optimus holding his weapon. Let's block them. Get it out. Wait. Also get the shield out. And then you can stall him on the back of the figure. Like that. As for size comparison, this is the Optimus Unique Toy vs. The Voyager The Last Night. As you can see, the Voyager is different colors and the shield is different. It's on a blue color. It's so very strange. The sword is also in orange color, but this one is more movie accurate with the uh, silver and gray paint. This uh, leg is bigger than the uh, other one since it's like the rear wheels of the truck. And you, as you can see here, the detail on the body is way more better than the Unique Toy version. Way more detailed. I highly recommend this. this, this and this is compared to the um, masterpiece movie, and as you can see, the detail is overwhelmed. The, master, the, ma the movie masterpiece is so much better, but this one is taller because I think the up this is like an upgrade version of Optimus. So even if they make a movie masterpiece like this Optimus, it will be taller as well. And here's the transformation back to the robot mode. Thanks for watching, and if you got what do you guys think of this figure? Tell me in the comment section below, and be sure to subscribe and like my channel. I'll see you in the next review. See you guys.